Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. So today I am actually outdoors, so I'm because it's nice out. So I'm kind of just chilling here. I'm about to have an Arturo Fuente Gran Reserva um, that I picked up a few days ago. So I'm pretty excited for that. And it is so windy. <laughs> And I can't even see my lighter flame. There we go. So the flame is blowing the other way. It is really hot out. <laughs> What's funny is I got a tennis match coming up in about two hours, um, which should be interesting um, because I didn't actually know about it till about two hours ago. So, and the reason is is because I kind of misread a text. Um, and the kid is good. I mean, he doesn't have any real weapons that can hurt me, which is good. Um, it's just going to be a matter of me moving him around and me taking advantage of the fact that I have weapons and he doesn't. Now, in case you guys don't know what I mean by weapons, I mean, like, I don't, I have some powerful shots that I can basically go through him with. I uh, like my backhand, my one-handed, I had a one-handed backhand and I can really rip it, so... I can really hurt him. I can really make him play defense with it. So that's kind of what my plan is. And then I have a really consistent top spin forehand um, that I can also do some damage with by moving him around the court with. And my serve is, my first serve can do damage. So I'm, but it's all going to be a matter of me making sure that I'm moving, keep my feet going. Um, of course, I forget. But the temperature is out, but it's it's quite hot, um, and it's quite sunny. So I'm wearing my hat and sunglasses. Yeah, I I love this hat and these sunglasses. We get to be cool. Don't judge me. <laughs> we all got our own style. And sorry if this is kind of it may be just be my screen because my screen is quite dirty. Um. Oh yeah, it's just my screen, because I have to clean it. I just recently installed Windows 10, I'm kind of getting used to it. I actually, believe it or not, I'm one of the few people who probably liked 8, um, which I had on this before. And I liked it, once you get used to it, it's actually not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. I've had 8 on it, yeah, for a while. Yeah. going on three years that I've had this laptop. Wait, no, let's see, my freshman year, sophomore year, okay, so I'm going to be in my third year of having this laptop. Um, so, uh, the Angry Critics coming out tomorrow, I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, it'll be up probably around 8 p.m. That's kind of my goal time to get it up. Epic Math Science coming out this weekend. Um, my Why Told channel, the new video is coming out there. I forget what I'm gonna. I filmed it a while ago. Uh, so I forget what it's actually called. <laughs> um, I've just been too lazy to edit it. So finally getting around to doing that. Um, I'm filming the Angry Critic tonight. So that should be fun. 
What else? Right. I don't know what cigar I'm going to have with it. Um, what I've really been enjoying is I actually have, uh, got together with my coach the other night, because uh, we're also friends, um, and we had um, a uh, Cohiva um, cigar in Toro, which wasn't, which, Cohiba's a good, um, but what actually impressed me, well, Cohiba's better be good because they were 1650. Um, but what really impressed me more is we also had Rocky Patel uh, vintage 1992s, and those are I think better than the Cohibas. I think they're I'd pay what I paid for the Cohibas for these sticks because um, I definitely think they're worth it. Um, they're definitely worth another five dollars. They were around they were around uh, nine fifty or something like that. And so I, I'd spend an extra six five six bucks to get to get them. They're because they're Significantly better than the Cohibas, I think. That's just my taste. Um, you could disagree. I'm kind of just hitting out here. It's quite nice. Um, so, um, any other updates? Still trying out those two rackets. I'm still between the Blade 1820 and um, the Pro Staff 90. Um, the the Blade 98S, um, the Blade 9, no, Blade 98 1820, the one that I, um, it's it's got a really plush feel. Like it feels really soft. I'm getting a good amount of control with it. I just typically don't like lighter rackets. I like heavier. I like more meteor rackets. Um, which I'm getting, but and I'm also getting more spin out of the Pro Staff 90, so it's it's still kind of like I'm up in the air about it. So I'm gonna try them out in the match today, um, which is usually not good policy, but you know we're not playing for money, we're just playing for fun. So let's whatever. In that case, usually I don't care if I lose. I'm just gonna go out play my best, and if I lose, I lose. If I win, I win. I'm not, you know, it's not for anything more than just fun, so. And another thing that happened today, I gave a tennis lesson. Which sucks, because I gave it in Boston. Luckily, no parking ticket. But I had to park pretty far away because there's absolutely no parking in Boston. Uh, I'm getting really sick of that. I'm really getting sick of giving lessons in Boston. Um, and I had to park, I um, had to parallel park between two cars and I had literally have like a, boat, a foot and a half of space off each side of the car. So I had to do like a freaking 12 point thing to get in there and then uh, so Sorry, well, actually, I was only there for an hour, so I kind of figured, you know, I'd be the first one to leave anyway, so I didn't, probably wouldn't even bother the people and the other people, and the people had plenty of space on the other side of their cars, so I wasn't, like, jamming them in there. Unfortunately, I, well, I was jammed in there, yeah, but I'm pretty good about weaseling myself in and out of those spaces, so I was able to get out and just fine. And, um, yeah, so I don't know what cigar I'm going to pick up for tonight for the Angry Critic to film. It's going to be a, have to be a long one because it's going to be a long recording session because I'm recording eight videos. Um, but we'll see. I got a new uh, vest, tie, and shirt to wear during it. Uh, so I'm, pretty, I'm looking forward to that too. Um, changing up the look a little bit. Pretty excited. Um, what else? Gotta go to the gym. Uh, I gotta work out tonight because I gotta get, start getting 
I mean, I'm in pretty good shape. I just got to get a little stronger. You know, I'm not like, so, got to work out. Got to get ready for the season coming up. Season starts the 9th of September, so, luckily I got some time, but got to get to working on it. And I'm starting make gonna start making a list of cigars that I like because um I'm gonna start buying boxes soon. I'm gonna um do a large cigar order soon and I'm gonna buy probably my favorites from each brand. Uh that I know like I'm gonna buy obviously those Rockies that I liked because those were pretty good. Um and then I'm gonna buy um the Gurkha Black Dragons, which I like. Um you know, and the Gorka Ghost, and the uh, Vintage Shaggy, which I've wanted to try. Uh, what else? Um, the Padron 1926 80th Anniversary, I love those. But boy, those have some kick to them. Now, there's a Toro Fuente, actually. I Actually, this is the second one I've had. I don't know if I've had this is the second one on the vlog I've had, but this is the second one I've had. And this one, I, I have to say, is burning much better than the... Uh, or, I'm actually enjoying a lot better than the other one. I did get a different size. And this one came wrapped in a cedar wrapping, uh, cedar sleeve, so... Um, I don't know if that had anything to do with it, but I do notice a sweeter taste to it. So, I'm... So I'm enjoying it a little bit more. Typically, um, kind of when I'm just out and about, unless I want a black, you know, a black pepper bomb, or um, usually I typically like a sweet or a leather flavor. That's just me. Particularly in the mornings, I do like a sweet um, coffee cream flavor to go with my coffee. Um, speaking of coffee. Actually, I don't know why you're bringing that up. Um, never mind. Um, but yeah, this is—it's burning really well. It's got a nice, tight white ash. So love it. Love cigars with no burn problems. Um, I don't know when my new lighter's coming in. I'm pretty excited for it. Um, again, I'll probably still end up using the Prometheus, but when it comes, especially out here, when it's windy, uh, but indoors, you might see me occasionally use my new, uh, the Angry Critic lighter with the, um, butane, uh, flint insert, which I'm pretty excited about. So, that's enough of me rambling, so I've not really done much. Um, as of late, I had a pretty easy day yesterday. I had a tennis lesson, which was tough. I sliced my finger open, actually, during it. Um, but, yeah, other than that, it's just been a, a couple of easy days, which I'm kind of enjoying, because tomorrow's going to be hell. Uh, because I start at 8 a.m., um, I have a tennis, I'm giving, I'm getting a lesson at 8 a.m. from my coach. And then I am going to work at Sports Authority and then give another tennis lesson. And then give a tennis lesson. So it's going to be a long day tomorrow. Plus the gym. So that's all I have for this time. Um, if you guys got any suggestions for cigars that I have fit those flavor profiles that I like, leave them in the comment section down below. Always willing to try a new one. Try new cigars. I'm like I said, I'm a beginner, so um, who knows? I might find one that uh that blows me away that I never heard of. So um, yeah, leave them in the comment section down below. Have a good one. And now, last to stop recording. Oh, bye.